Hey folks, it's Monday, and um, I got an update for you on a, on a, on several things. So uh, let me start with the personal first, okay? So um, as I shared with you folks, um, I've been having some problems with what I consider harassment. I was actually able to get through to the department where the um, last order was uh, originated from the state. Um, the person I spoke to, which was the name that I, one of the names I, possible names I got, said she wasn't the one that um, made the order, but she understood that this is likely what happened. Um, she's um, taking my, um, uh, she took she took down uh, my um, concern, my complaint, and in information, and is turning it over to her supervisor, who I hope to hear back from. If I don't hear back from them, I'm going to follow up, but I was happy to be able to speak directly and explain what's going on here, and how it feels very much like harassment, you know, and in light of my position in the community as a, you know, it's just, you know, someone wants to uh, ups upset my peace, you know, whatever, other, what other reason could there be, you know? So she heard me out and is passing it on. I'll follow up. I'm not just going to sit here expecting anything. I'm going to follow up. Today is real busy. Today, um, Oh, I, I came back from the uh, mail post office and I just sent off the majority of what has been ordered already of the Indrema. I have run out of mailers, so I have to pick up some more mailers, hopefully today, if they have some made for me. Um, I, I, I guess what, what needs to happen is I need to keep this on the surface of people's consciousness because... When I brought it up yesterday, there was a surge in um, in orders, and um, I just want to keep letting you know while the purple vinyl is available, because it, you know, again, as collectors, we we want the exclusive first. The black the record is good, so black vinyl is going to be fine, but um, the purple is going, and so um, or, you know, uh, order get it, it's you know, and it's good. Okay. Bought a bunch of records um, on sale from the antiquarium yesterday who were closing. Very sad. I listened to some stuff. Listen to this last night, you know, and I see why people like this. I like the way it's recorded. Um, it's all shambolic and real heartfelt and, and all of that, you know. But I probably don't know when I'll listen to this again. Um, I'm at the point where mostly it depends on mood. And this... It's like, um, if I knew them, or if I saw them live, it would make the difference. But, um, uh, I have to hear it again. It's not what I'm looking for, okay? Let me put it like that. I've had several people, not just you, Andrea, but several people say to me, Dirty Three, yeah. I, I get it, but it's like, uh, right now, I'd rather hear people that can play well. Not always. I'm just, I, I know I say things to people and I, I think, all right, let me, fuck it. Let me just, okay, here's uh, some records that I went through that I bought. I just um, dropped the needle so I can tell you a little, my first impressions, okay? Um, this is some Power Pop, Terry Maltz. I don't, I haven't had time to look him up. Um, this is, um, in, you know, it's, Ramones-ish power pop, and it's real good. Terry Maltz, who is he? I'll be when I have a chance. I'll look him up. This was really, really enjoyable. Here's some metal that I took a chance on for like four bucks. Winds of Plague, Decimate the Weak, and I went ahead and bought it also because it's on white vinyl. This strikes me as metal for for kids. Um, they can really play, but there's something kind of, uh, uh, like watching a movie about this. Um, this is, uh, not the kind of metal that impresses me. Only way to find out was to buy it. This is the Intima. I was telling you about it. It's hand-pressed and all that, and, um, this was recorded in someone's basement, and it's lo-fi. There's probably some good songs on here, but my first impression is, at this time, it's too lo-fi for me. 
it's just kind of like you know listening to some some kids trying to make songs and sometimes that's okay you know notice how i'm prefacing where i'm at right now okay this i only heard a few songs but this is what i'm looking for when it comes to lo-fi um weirdness this is mr hageman twin smooth snouts this is just crazy you know it's a lot of sound work there are some songs in here but there's all kinds of things going on with the sound which i love sound you know he made this between 1988 and 1995 with two and four track tapes open reel tape decks tape loops guitar air who mandolin um vibrator bells a television I can't even know what this. Oh, a uh, uh, car radio, tired Archer brand speakers, and a metal rod. It's a creative, and it's interesting. Now it's like this is the sort of thing that if I put it on at the wrong time, it'll bore me to death. But this is real, real neat. Showed that already. Really like that. Okay, System Seven. I really like. Um, here's some more techno that I. Took a chance on this is um, sometimes I can't quite tell who the artist is, you know. James Din looks German. Really like this. Most of these are from the year 2006, these techno singles that I bought. This one is real cool. Not easy to describe. John B. in Transit. I had to get this for a buck. Three, three records. And, um, Techno, uh, kind of a techno porn, you know, girls talking about being a sex freak and don't stick it in my belt. That's my belly button, you know. <laughs> it's funny, really. It's it's funny what I listen to. This is cool. Emmanuel Top, Asteroid. Three record set for a buck. Um, the, uh, the side that I played was, yeah, Space Time. Radio 4, Electrify. Mostly I like this because my boys are on it. It's pretty good. Adam Payne. This, I, sh I, I knew that I probably wouldn't like this. This sounds like Dinosaur Jr., kind of. And that's not what I'm looking for. So this was no fun to listen to. Just, yeah. This was a nice surprise. A happy. I'd never heard it all the way through. John, McGee John McGeeck's guitar playing saves this album and John Lydon's singing with it actually is pretty cool but the guitar playing on this is stellar happy public image I got a remix by G Gus Gus from Iceland love these guys good remix I only heard one side this one was um I ended up getting a house I don't really like house so this is house with that kind of R&B type of sex vocals I don't care for that this was a, a, bum a bummer this is good. I think this is Richard Kirk from Cabaret Voltaire. And I only played one side of this, but this was real good. Again, I'm not good at describing techno, um, electronic IDM music. I just know when I like it and when I don't. I don't like that uh, obvious stuff that sounds like it's made for people that go to the club just to have sex. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I like what they call intelligent dance music. Here's one that's been sitting down there forever that I didn't want to pay 10 bucks for. So I got it for five half price, tax free. This goes back to the 70s. It's on the Polydor label. Looks like it's a New York band. And I've been interested in this, but I didn't want to pay all the, mo the money for it. I think Jeff Recordman has this. This is very good musically. I would say the reason why this is not more collectible is because the lead vocals don't have the character to hold your attention, but the music is real good, kind of jazzy. Somewhere between Jethro Tull and Van Morrison. And musically, I like that stuff. It's the vocal thing where you're hollering and screaming about how much you love that woman that I really have no interest in. You know, that's one of the reasons I'm not interested in Van Morrison. But the other thing of interest to me about this album is that John Cale plays viola on here. And it's another example of what I think is the difference. Well, I'll stop. John Cale is a musician. Glass Orchid Aftermath. Do you have this? 
Wings on the Dunhill label. This definitely goes back to the 60s, definitely. And I um, have been waiting. I didn't want to pay 10 bucks for this. Uh, I just popped on the first two songs. It's pop, commercial, slightly country, but there's also the mamas and papas. You can hear how this label picked them up, hoping maybe for a hit. That's the label that brought us the mamas and the papas and the grassroots and uh, Steppenwolf. And I can hear that sensibility, how the label picked up on this band. I imagine once I get through this, there's some good songs on here. This was a good find. Now, let me talk, because Avalanche, Some Velvet Sidewalk. This was a nice find. This is a vinyl on K Records out of Washington. Calvin Johnson, Beat Happening. Now, see, like, Beat Happening is that real shabby, shambolic type, they can barely play type of band. But there's something there. It's intangible, but I hear it and feel it. When I drop the needle on this, almost right away, that intangible energy and thing coming through the music was there that I like a lot. That is probably here in, that is here in Dirty Three. I have to hear this in the right mood. Is that all that I've listened to? Oh, I did listen to this, Brett. The Environment Evolution Ecology. This is good. It's got a country rock kind of feel, but it's really well played. It's a, it's, an, it's kind of a concept album. And I listened to three songs because it got better. So I'm imagining there's at least one really good song on here. It's very well played. I don't recognize any of the names on here. That's mo mo Well, I played a few other things, actually. I did, and I'll show them. Platypus. I encouraged a Tim Guthrie to get a copy of this because they had these there for a dollar. This is excellent. Excellent electronic. Excellent. This one is real good. Pumps. Here's another one that's real good. Mistakes music. I don't I, I don't know if I'm telling you the artist or what, but I put this on last night and this I played all the way through. This was really good. Sebastian Laguerre for 24 hour management. This is really good. Real good. And this one was very enjoyable too. House of Ohm, DJ Heather. Kind of like the um, other one I told you that was kind of sex um, related. Because that's what's going on in the clubs is people are there, you know, you dance so you can get some sex, you know. And uh, Do you guys know that, late, you know, uh, maybe I'm being too general, but I understand. I know this is true. This is true when I was growing up that girls... Um, measure or they pay attention to how you dance that's how they figure out whether or not you can you're, be a good sex partner <laughs> red-eyed legends on GSL angst I like it this was a nice find for like two bucks skin yard um, on cruise records kind of punky this was nice Solar Skate Alive. This is more on the house side with those vocals that I don't particularly care for. But um, this I don't know anything about, but this is real good. I played both sides of this because this just kicks ass. Matter of fact, I had to um, put some weight on my arm because the, the grooves are so big and the beat is so hard. Swen Hutmacher. Where We Are, EP. This is excellent um, techno. M.G. Foster, man, if you happen to watch this, anything that you can tell me about any of this stuff, I'd love. Trezor, I've known about this label forever out of Germany. This is awesome. Double album. Awesome. Another one I didn't know anything about, and this re is real good. Tommy Nevada, Meeting at the Cornfield Remixes. This is really good. Real good. Super Unleash. Another one that, when I saw it, I thought the cover was crap. It turns out to be really good. Landshark. These were all a buck, these, all these techno records. So this is what I like, because this is what I can afford. And this is a double, double album. Thema, 
label, Fran Major, Vidrios Rotos, another. This was excellent. I like electronic music. I always have. Always have loved it. Haven't played this yet, but I bought this on the cover. Could be bad, but Vibrating Egg. Come on. Doesn't that look cool? Vibrating Egg and then the back on Doggone Records. I hope it's good. Great name, Vibrating Egg. One more I want to show that I haven't played yet, but this was a cool find for a buck. Synchronicity. Um, never heard of these guys. Mark Horman, Nor Mark Norman, never heard of them. There, there, they, there he is with his partner. But this was only a dollar, but it's four records. It's a four record set. Haven't played it yet, but blue vinyl. That's a that's a dollar well spent there. That's a dollar well spent. Okay. Um, all right. So there's that. Um, I'm so, I'm feeling so good. I cannot remember if I told you this at the beginning of the video. I know I told you about Indrema. So yeah. But I was sharing with you folks that I had a bit of aggravation um, with the police looking for runaways here. I got through to the State Department where. The orders probably originated. I spoke to the person that was possibly the woman I needed to speak to, Karen James. Turns out that it wasn't her, but she was able to confirm that the order likely is what the cop said. It came from the state. I gave her all the information I could. She, uh, she promised me she would pass it on to her supervisor, and the supervisor would call me about this. Because I told her it feels like harassment, you know what I'm saying, that someone is targeting me for whatever reason, sending the cops to just, you know, up upset my day, you know. I told her my background, Community Alliance. As soon as I told her that and explained a little bit, then she knew who I was. I got a rep, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And then she stopped me and she said, first off, Derek, I want to thank you for your service. You know, 30 plus fucking years, okay? So, you know, it's like it's obvious that somebody is not happy with, I'm just going to say it. There's this woman that worked who I just... I ain't gonna fuck you, bitch. You know what I'm saying? And just try to make life miserable for me until she lost her job. You know what I'm saying? But she still has ties, you know? I wouldn't be surprised if it's her. And I don't mind saying it out loud because I didn't say any names, okay? But anyway, I got that much done. Feels good. Um, busy day, though. I just sent out... What I have, I, I need to send out, I need to go back and send out the overseas um, that I have so far. Like I said, I've run out of uh, mailers, so I can't get all the orders out today that are, are in so far. But I want to encourage folks, I know that money is tight, but in Dreama, I'm real proud of this. This is, you know, I'm proud of my records, but I just, the potential for this to do better than a couple hundred copies once people hear it. That possibility is, is, is very large. This is very psychedelic. Very psychedelic. Very cool. You know, I've listened to it a bunch of times. I've listened to a lot of music. And um, this is good. I'm proud as hell to be a part of this record. And um, real proud to be part of the launching platform. Been trying to get this put out for almost two years, and I'm the one that took the risk. And I'm still in a risk right now. If this doesn't fly, now I'll tell you, I'll go ahead and be completely transparent. If I don't make my money back on this, then I'm I'm done. You know, I won't be making any more records. So, uh, but but it's good. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. It's like this shit is good. You know. You can go to the Team Love site and listen to the whole album, stream it now, you know. So, um, we just say it again. People, jump on board. Help me, um, let, let me be a working artist, you know. My music is as good as Dirty Three. I play better than these guys, actually, you know. Shouldn't be comparing. Some of you aren't going to like that, but it's in my mind. It's in my craw. It's like, here are these guys. It's like shambolic. It sounds like we can barely play, and people are just loving it. And 
I toil and trouble the best I can in this room to make this music the best I can. It's good, people. It's good, you know. Um, let me be a winner. Buy my music, okay? Give me your money. Buy my music. Buy my music. It's it's more than worth it. Not just in Dreamo, but Derek. I got Derek two to go. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm feeling it. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling it right now. Love you all.